waste from London's toilets, sinks and gutters is carried away by a network of interconnecting ever larger pipes designed and built by sewage superstar and pioneer Joseph Bazalgette. It all ends up here, a sewage treatment works. This is Beckton Sewage Treatment Works in the east of London, and it's Europe's biggest. It was originally part of Joseph Bazalgette's scheme, but I tell you what, sewage treatment has really moved on since his day. In the 19th century, sewage was simply stored here in tanks, then pumped out to the river at high tide. So you'll be pleased to know today's process is a lot more refined and takes just four hours for raw sewage to be clean enough to return to the river. Every day, this treatment works handles the sewage from 3.4 million Londoners. Now, that's an astonishing volume. It equates to 34 Olympic swimming pools every hour. So how does it treat the byproducts of our late night beer sessions and trips to the local curry house? The first process happens here at the inlet works. Using these screens, large lumps like bricks, wood, rags are raked out. Once collected, these large objects will all be washed and sent to a landfill site nearby. They've even had half a car here. Meanwhile, the remaining sewage passes onto the next part of the process into these primary settlement tanks. Now, very basically, it enters at that end and flows relatively slowly this way. Over the top of each tank is a moving bridge, which has two blades to remove solid organic material from the sewage. The top blade skims scum from the surface, while a second submerged blade dredges the heavier settled sludge from the bottom of the tank. All this solid sludge is then sent for further processing. The remaining sewage then flows down this way towards the secondary biological treatment process. And here it is. In these tanks, the sewage is mixed in with billions upon billions of bacteria, so all the dissolved materials that still remain can be biodegraded. And pumping air from below at very high pressures causes the sewage to be saturated with dissolved oxygen, and this accelerates the biological breakdown. It's brilliant. Finally, the treated effluent is tested to ensure it's clean enough to go back into the Thames. Meanwhile, remember all of the solids which were skimmed off earlier? They're taken to a processing plant. All sludges are brought to this filter press where it's dewatered and the resulting sludge cake is incinerated and that provides 75% of this entire work's power needs. 